Hello. I'm joined by Catherine Merry and Michael Phelps down at the Coventry <laughs> store opening. Uh, looks like you've had a lot of fun tonight, um, entertaining some of the kids and doing some prizes. How have you found it? Oh, it's been absolutely amazing. I think I've, I, I know about decathlon, of course, you know, since their conception in 1976, and this is their oh, 30th UK store. And I know how big they are, but I think both of us agree. When we walked in here tonight to the new store, it was like, wow, this is huge. And it's like we tried to find sports of kit that they didn't have. And we really did struggle. I think Steve. Skydiving. Skydiving. No parachutes. With a parachute. Can't do. No, been... you, you, you can't do skydiving without a parachute either. So that's one sport that you can't do with the cap on in it. But that's it. Really. But 70 sports. 70 sports yeah. is unbelievable, isn't it? It's. Um, oh, 71. I think it was in, in total. But it's been great fun, and really I think we're both passionate about trying to get as many kids in, involved in sport as you can. But you can't do the sport unless you've got the kit, and these guys sell them at decent prices. So it was nice to be invited down. And if you weren't, if you were allowed to pick something to take home, obviously nothing to do with uh, running or swimming, what would you, what, what sports would interest you? Oh, that's a good question. Well, I've signed up for a, a, a half Ironman uh, next year. I'm going to do the half Ironman next year. So I would take a bike. I need really? to do, yeah, I would get a, like a really good triathlon bike, which I haven't got a clue about. I can swim a bit. <laughs> My running Helps is up. all right, although as all right as you can possibly be for being 18 yeah. stone. But I feel like an elephant on a tricycle trying to ride a bike yeah. so uh, I would get a good bike and uh, lose the flare yeah. and, and, you? He, and he looks like an elephant on a tricycle when he got on it as well what would I do see you know what and this is gonna sound like kind of yeah 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 okay, whatever. no 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 myself and Steve we tried the um, plastic kind of suckered archery over here as a tri sport and actually was really quite good so I feel, obviously beating Steve who was rubbish to be fair, actually wouldn't mind a crack at having a bit of an archery kit. And that's, yeah, she needs to practice. But it's something I've never done before outside of like, you know, silly TV work. And I actually really did enjoy it. And I'm back on Saturday actually for the Discover Decathlon Day where we're doing 10 sports outside. And I think, I know it sounds a bit cheesy, but that was kind of a thing that I did. And I'm like, I actually enjoyed that. So I would actually potentially do it again. And that's what it's all about, getting people involved in forms of fitness. Not just at elite level, not just at elite level. Sorry, I was I just telling them you're all rubbish at archery. I did beat you. And actually, I believe the store's quite local to where you grew up, Catherine? It is indeed, yes. Steve the Scouser, as you can tell by the uh, accent. Um, but of course, he has links to Decathlon in terms of his swimming company. Um, but myself, yeah, I was born and bred in Dunchurch, which not many people have heard about which is near Rugby. So literally, this is Junction 3 of the M6 here at Arena Park. And I used to live and was born off Junction 1 in Rugby. So it's really close. And I live in Solihull up the road as well. So, and I've already miles away. And I tell friends about the store already and they're excited to come down because they do everything, basically. It's two hours away from me, but uh, I've got a decathlon near me as well. So it's all good. Yeah. And uh, I believe you've got your medals with you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'd like to like, put these two Olympic bronze medals. How so gutted would you be? if you won that one, four years after this one. <laughs> Danny, however, the Olympic medals now are literally like that, aren't they? They're, yeah. they're huge. Yeah. So London, London 2012 did a great job on the medals, really yeah, good. They, they, did, they did, to be fair, and, and, and joking aside, mine's bigger because it is actually better than Steve because it was one in track oh, and field. Watch this in though, the, in the swimming Olympic pool. bronze. Oh, yeah. Olympic bronze, um, and in the dark, gold. Get under bronze. my chin. Gold, <laughs> bronze, gold. But we showed this a lot to the kids tonight and, and it, went, it went down well. Oh, seems to be enjoying yeah, it. Yeah. Seems, seems to be enjoying it. There's bells ringing on bikes going past us as we're talking to you. So. It's dangerous. Yeah, it's, it's great fun. So, well, great, great to see you down here and thanks for coming along. And you got to see well. this. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> you got to see that. That is just outstanding. Not the fact that how tall he is, the fact that he's actually not falling off. <laughs> Only in Coventry, mate. Only in Coventry. Thank you.